In 2006, it was reported that Bonanno family acting boss Vincent Basciano allegedly drew up a hit list of five names, which included a US attorney and a federal judge. Let's check it out. Welcome to OC Shorts, bringing you detailed historical snapshots of the American Mafia and other organized crime. Feel free to subscribe if you like that sort of thing. Today, we're going to take a quick look at the time when Vincent Vinnie Gorgeous Basciano used religious magic to try and solve his legal problems. In the first half of 2006, Vincent Basciano was on trial for racketeering and the murder of Frank Santoro. On May the 9th that year, Vinnie Gorgeous was convicted of racketeering, but a mistrial was declared for the Frank Santoro murder. Basciano still faced a lengthy sentence, but at the time, not life in prison. However, the authorities planned to retry Vinnie Gorgeous for the Frank Santoro murder, which had ended a mistrial due to a jury deadlock along with another charge of ordering the murder of Randolph Randy Pizzolo. Things were looking bleak for Basciano, as the Bonanno family had had a host of members who had recently turned informant for the government, including former underboss Sal Vitale, former captains James Tartaglioni and Dominic Ciccali, as well as the big prize for the government, former boss Joseph Messino. Messino and Ciccali becoming informants hit Vincent Basciano hard. First my father, and now the son. Basciano had said about Messino and Ciccali's betrayal. Salvatali had testified in the first trial earlier in 2006, but the feds held Joe Messino back from appearing. Famously, on the 3rd of January 2005, Joe Messino first wore a wire when chatting with Basciano at the Metropolitan Detention Centre, catching Basciano in a series of incriminating discussions. At some point while he was in prison before his next trial, Vincent Vinnie Gorgeous Basciano drew up a list of five names that the authorities claim was a hit list of people Basciano wanted murdered. The list included assistant US attorney Greg Andres, who had prosecuted Vinnie Gorgeous at his trial earlier in 2006. Also on the list was federal judge Nicholas Garafis, corrupt attorney Tom Lee, and banana mobsters turned informants Dominic Ciccali and James Tartaglioni. Judge Nicholas Garafis, who was on the list, would write the following in an official court document. On August 28, 2006, the government disclosed under seal that Basciano's transfer back to the SHU was the result of another inmate having informed the government that Basciano had provided him with a handwritten list of five individuals that Basciano wanted murdered. The list included myself, the lead prosecutor Greg Andres, and three cooperating witnesses who had testified against Basciano in his 2006 trial. The government believed that this list should be taken seriously, as several months prior to this, Joe Messino had had a conversation with Vinnie Gorgeous about murdering US Attorney Greg Andres. Messino then wore a wire to try and capture Basciano talking about this plan again, as Anthony De Stefano writes in the book Vinnie Gorgeous. Of course, under FBI control and in jail, Messino had no real desire to kill Andres. Yet, that wasn't going to stop him from re-threading that conversation for the recording. Basciano's response? No, forget about it. Indicated that talk had taken place about the subject of harming Andres, but the context remained unclear. However, the alleged truth behind the supposed hit list was actually more bizarre. As one newspaper reported, During a court hearing yesterday and in interviews, Basciano's attorneys related how their client was seeking Santeria help and not seeking murders. Santeria is an amalgamation of African religion and Roman Catholicism that uses magic. Adherents seek out a Babalawo, 
also known as a godfather, and a santera, or godmother, for help when in desperate straits. Judge Nicholas Garafis would write about the strange affair. Bashiano responded at the time that the list was intended to lift a spell that had been cast on him, and he stated that inmate Reginald White had corroborated Bashiano's account when interviewed by a lieutenant of the MCC. Further details on the mystical practice used by Vinnie Gorgias were later revealed by one of Bashiano's attorneys, James Casaurus, who offered the following. This inmate, the person we believe to be this inmate, is somebody who approached our client and told him that his mother is some priestess for Santeria, said Casaurus, and told Mr. Bashiano to make a list of everybody involved, put it in your right shoe, stamp five times every day during the trial, and it will help. Responding to the government's allegations that Bashiano had drawn up a hit list, another of Vinnie Gorgias's attorneys, Ephraim Savitt, would say, he is not denying he came up with the list, but it's not like he called up Luca Brazzi. Of course, referring to the fictitious hitman for Vito Corleone in the book and movie The Godfather. In November 2006, Vinnie Gorgias's wife, Angela Basciano, confirmed her husband's interest in mystical practices. Anthony De Stefano wrote, In an interview in November 2006, Angela Basciano noted that her husband did put stock in voodoo and black magic. Judge Nicholas Garafas would also write, In an interview with government investigators shortly after the list was discovered, Basciano's wife, Angela Basciano also corroborated the story about the mystical nature of the list. Basciano would also write a strange letter that contained two further lists of names, this time including Joe Messino. In the letter, Vinnie Gorgias would write, I, Vincent Basciano, before the house of the judge, three dead men look out the window, one having no tongue, the other no lungs, and the third was sick, blind and dumb. Ultimately, it appears that the Santeria voodoo-like magic did not work. In 2007, at the retrial for the murder of Frank Santoro and other charges, including the solicitation to kill Salvatale, Basciano was found guilty of all charges. And then, in May 2011, Basciano was found guilty of conspiring to murder Randolph Randy Pizzolo. Vincent Vinnie Gorgias Basciano would avoid the death penalty for his crimes, but he would receive life without parole. I hope you found that interesting. Thanks for watching.